Hey, Doe's, come here. Say what's up. <laughs> yeah, all right, he's a little too hyper. But anyways, uh, my daily driver is my uh, Ram 1500, like I said. Uh, so far, performance-wise, it's got nothing done to it. Um, that's why you can see the a little package that just came in yesterday. Uh, we'll be talking about that here in a bit. 2016 crew cab. Um, it's got the Moto Metal wheels. Those are 18 by 10s. Uh, with a 30 wrapped in a 35 by 12 and a half by 18 obviously uh, Though these tires are what are they? The Thunder Track grip mud trains. Uh, I got these off of eBay. They were a great deal and they actually handle very well um, Not a lot of road noise uh, and obviously they look good uh, If you want to see how far they stick out So what we will be doing today, um, this is a there's a muffler delete, or should I say muffler swap. Um, I'm going to be replacing the stock muffler with uh, this kit right here. I uh, got this off of Amazon. See, it's called the Total Flow. This was like under 100 bucks, so I um, wanted to give it a try. Um, in the past, I've bought like the, the Flowmasters or, the, you know, the... I've, uh, let's just say I've spent a couple hundred dollars for just a muffler delete. This time I wanted to try this one. It had good reviews on Amazon and I'll go ahead and put a link for for uh, this kit down below. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's hear what the truck sounds like before we do the actual muffler swap. So, let's turn it on. It's set for a couple days and it's about 22 degrees out there. So yeah, I mean, it's, it still sounds good for what it is, factory, but... Um, just me being me, I uh, like to make a little bit of noise whenever I step on that gas. Uh, last video I did on this was um, the heated steering wheel and it was a little dark out. So I also wanted to show you guys the, the seats that I swapped out from the other truck. So the reason I swapped to this interior, so it's, you know, it's got the, I can't, I can't remember what the name of this. I want to say it was like sand brown or something like that. I, I can't remember, desert brown. Girls, no, you can't get in. There's a heated steering wheel. So yeah, the reason I swapped over to the seats to or to this uh, interior, uh, previously I had the, the factory gray interior. Um, I swapped over to this one because uh, these were heated. And the donor truck that I had, um, you know, I had all the parts, so I figured uh, why not swap everything over. And like I said in the previous video to get, um, to get these to, be, to work, obviously you need to make sure that you have the harness. Um, Luckily, I had the harness for it, and you got to swap over this this entire like assembly. Um, so I got the heated seats to work. I've got the steering wheel, the heated steering wheel to work so far. Um, I'm still trying to figure out the um, we call it the trailer brake, but uh, yeah. I, but I, I mainly did it for the heated seats and steering wheel. I was thinking about keeping the the gray interior and possibly trying to swap out just the fabric. Um, I got started on one of the seats and it was just it was just a nightmare and I didn't want to take it apart. Uh, plus, uh, I'm, I'm kind of digging this color now. I wasn't sure how I was gonna like it, but you know, I'm, it's grown on me. Um, I did I did use the I did use the the gray um, plastic bezels from the, the other seats from the previous seats or from this this truck. So yeah, let's get this thing in the garage or in the shop on the hoist and let's get the work into it. Hey, Doze, come here. Come here, Doze. You don't want to say hi? Yeah, he's a little too high. He thinks we're going out. All right. So the brand is uh, Total Flow. Part number on this one is 314633. Um, it says it's direct fit for a 2009 to 2018 Ram 1500. Uh, those with the 5.7 liter engines. 
with the factory dual tailpipe option. So if you if your truck fits in that category, then this is for you. Uh, and again, I, I paid, I wanna say I paid, I paid something under $100, I can't remember. Um, but I'll go ahead and put a link for, for, these, for, this, for this specific kit in the description below. You can see Dozer already wants a piece of this box. Um, so let's, we've got some instructions here. Got some clamps. That's uh, two. There should be three clamps, I believe. Two, three. And then here is an actual muffler. There it is. So it's total flow right on it. He gets to tear apart boxes and styrofoam. Hey, Dose, can we leave the styrofoam alone? Hey, 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 here, here, take the box. That's, that's easier to clean up. Here you go, bud. All right, you can take the box and put the styrofoam away. Put that up here. All right, guys, so uh, it looks like we're gonna need a long socket 15 mil um, for the, the nuts. There's three nuts that you gotta take off to get those uh, three clamps off. Uh, I I have my Ugga Dugga tool here, a little impact, or big impact, I guess. And I've got a ratcheting wrench, or ratchet, or whatever. Guys, when it comes to mechanic terminology, um, I'm sorry, I'm not the greatest with it, but uh, if I see a tool, I know what it is. And there's those. Uh, all right, so let's look inside. Or let's look underneath this truck. Let's bring my little tool caddy over here. Now, I apologize about the audio. I am using a head-mounted GoPro. So you see, this is the muffler that we're gonna be taking out. Um, there's an exhaust clamp right here. There's one right here, and there is two. There, and then in the back, there's uh, an exhaust clamp let's see if you guys can see an exhaust clamp right there and an exhaust clamp right there so there's three total um what i should do is go ahead and grab some of this pb blaster you go take some of this pb blaster and go ahead and spray some there and then they kindly or they conveniently put those clamps to where they're on the other side Now, yeah. worst case scenario, I might have to take uh, a wheel or like uh, an angle grinder slash cutting wheel to these. Hopefully, if uh, hopefully they come off fairly easily. But when you're working on cars here in the Rust Belt, uh, nothing's really easy. All right, so it seems like that's spinning. Let's see if I can. So it looks like that, I think that nut might be, uh, it's so rusted that all I feel is like debris. So this one might have to be cut off. And it's convenient that the new kit comes with uh, exhaust clamps. So if I really get un impatient with this, I could, I'll just go ahead and grab my uh, cutter wheel and cut both of these exhaust clamps off. Let's see if this one will cooperate with me. It's spinning. It's just gotta get a better leverage here. All right, let's go grab my cutting wheel. All right, guys. So I got my uh, handy dandy Harbor Freight angle grinder with a cutting wheel on there. Uh, whenever I am cutting metal or whatever, cutting wood, blah, 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 I like to wear some safety goggles and gloves I just like to wear because I like to keep my hands nice and soft. I'm just kidding. 
maybe I'm not. All right. Sorry about the bright light, guys. Let's take our cutter here. Does you might want to stay back. And it is off. Let's see. I'm gonna have to make two cuts or I could just pry it off. Let's just make two cuts. spray some some of this stuff on there So right now what I'm trying to do is I'm just I'm just trying to shimmy off the muffler here. So I'm just trying to loosen up everything. Uh, I've got myself a little uh, sledgehammer. So I'll go ahead and start banging on the muffler, see if I can get it off. Try to move it out of place. Okay. So that moved it a little bit. Actually works really good this I believe is a uh, exhaust um, rubber what do you what do you, what would you call this anyways so these rubber things that hold the exhaust up this tool is specially made for this um, what you do is here I'll, sh I'll show you we'll get to one of those but yeah I got this as a gift for um, from one of my buddies who came here to do exhaust on his focus ST and he was like oh man I want to pay you or something for letting me use your hoist and I said you know what bring me a tool that I don't have in my shop and this is what he brought so shout out to uh, Jeff if you're watching this appreciate it man so how we use this is we take our our exhaust thing remover and then you're gonna put the flat part on the back and then you're gonna take the curve the curved part on the front here and then you're just gonna kind of shimmy shimmy off this uh, this grommet thing so this one's actually shifted. There we go, we'll bring it forward. Look at that. So easy. And this is your end result. You get it pulled out like that. All right, so now that we got the, the rubber uh, grommet things out, the things that hold the, the muffler here, we're gonna go ahead and just kind of Move this back and forth and maybe twist it a little bit. All right, so one's out. One more to go. I'm almost thinking if I could just kick out the whole muffler. All right, and she's off.
that is not how you take out a muffler from its or exhaust. But it is out. Wow. Whew. Yeah, that was in there good. So yeah, just to recap, you've got three exhaust clamps that you're taking off. Let's see. I want to make sure that you guys are able to see this. All right. You've got three exhaust clamps that you're taking off. You got one, two, and three. Um, if you live in the Rust Belt like I do, I live here in good old Southeast Michigan. Uh, and these nuts don't cooperate with you. They're 15 mils. Just take a angle grinder with, or a cutting wheel to those exhaust clamps and cut them off because this comes, this kit comes with new exhaust clamps. Anyways, once you get those off, once you get the exhaust clamps loosened up or off, you've got a whole bunch of those rubber, um, what do you call it? Like the, the rubber exhaust holders. Got one here that you're gonna need to loosen up. Um, also, I recommend getting some like PB Blaster or WD-40, just some kind of lubricant like that to uh, get get those rubber, these uh, rubber grommet things uh, a little slippery and easier to take off. And like I said, if you have access to one of these, <clears throat> One of these tools, uh, it came in really handy for getting those uh, grommet things off. I'll, I'll go ahead and put a link to a similar tool uh, down below. Anyways, so you got one grommet here, right? One grommet there. You've got two grommets sitting. Let's see, can you guys see? Two grommets sitting above the, the muffler. You got one right there and one right there. And then for, for this grommet that's sitting on your right, uh, there's a um, there's a ground that goes on the exhaust hanger. Uh, it just it just uh, clamps right on. Uh, there's no special tool for that. You just clamp it off. Uh, you got another exhaust hanger grommet thing over here, and one right here on the frame rail. So yeah, so it's one, two, three, four, five total uh, rubber grommet things. And then once uh, you get that off, you just, you're gonna need to shimmy out these, um, uh, what do you call it? The, the mufflers or the, the tubes coming out of the mufflers. So this one's the, the shorter one is, the shorter one is the passenger side and the longer one is the driver side. Um, don't be nice to this thing because it won't be nice to you. But yeah, as you guys saw, uh, I went ahead and took my, uh, my lovely tool right there, the hammer and my angle, my angle grinder to get this thing off. Barely use the 15 mil. So let's grab the big clamp and the muffler. So let's get some PB blaster on there just so it's easier to slide them in. All right, and maybe we'll spray some on the the hangers itself, or the grommets. All right, let's get that there. We'll put our clamp, or we'll put the clamp on the muffler. So both of those exhaust hangers are on. We'll get our clamp, put that there. And don't tighten anything just yet. And then, before I forget, while that's hanging, you want to take that ground and just clamp it onto the, the exhaust hanger like that. All right. So remember, the longer side is the driver side. So we'll go ahead and fish that through. And what I think I'll do is I'll use that one exhaust hanger to uh, kind of let it hold it in place. So if you look at these, um, if you look at these exhaust grommet things for the rear ones, for the exhaust hangers, 
Um, looks like there's two and one on the bottom. So obviously we got the one on the bottom, we'll pop that on. And then the two that goes up top. All right, just muscle it on there. And like I said, some PV Blaster or WD-40 goes a long ways. And our muffler tip here, get that going. Sorry about that guys, my, uh, I had to change out the battery in my GoPro here. But yeah, um, where was I? I was just installing this exhaust hanger. Um, like I said, WD-40 uh, and it being not too cold out kind of helps get that rubber a uh, little, you know, malleable. Uh, anyways, before we, all that's left to do is to tie up the exhaust clamps. But before we do that, we want to make sure that our muffler tips are where we want them. All right, guys. So, uh, now that I got all the grommet, all the, the exhaust hangers on and I went ahead and shimmied back and forth the, the muffler as well as the, the muffler tips. I kind of got them where I like them. Um, what I, what I did with this, with this, uh, washcloth here is I, this one kind of hangs loose like that. So before I tighten it up, I just, I went ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and shove that there just so like it could stay there while I, tying up the exhaust hanger or the exhaust clamps that way it'll stay in that position this one looks like it's centered uh, that's where it's gonna be that one there and then we'll look at them from the side here make sure that they're kind of even as best as possible all right now let's just go ahead and tighten up the exhaust clamps so the exhaust clamps that come with the kit um actually require a 17 millimeter bolt or a socket uh that's my 17 uh, deep socket so let's go ahead and get these bad boys on All right, guys, so it's all installed and good to go. Uh, just a quick recap. So let's just look at how the mufflers look, the end of the bumper. I went ahead and just went with the, the flush look rather than them sticking out. So as promised, here's uh, the after sound clip. Let's go ahead and get her started. Oh yeah, I dig it. Yeah, the the seller that sells this uh this kit actually um they sell they sell the ones that are the, the full-on straight pipe uh versions uh i went ahead and got the the one with the the, the little muffler on it just because um i didn't want it to be crazy loud i wanted it you know i i just wanted to get my v8 rumble but at the same time i didn't want to be obnoxious about it you know um the last truck it was just straight piped uh it's it was cool and all that it sounded great uh, however, now with uh, the baby and all that, uh, I gotta be a little more uh, gotta be a little more considerate to my uh, surroundings. So uh, yeah, that's that. Um, let's uh, let's get let's let her warm up a little bit, and then uh, we'll do a little bit of a little some rubs.
Alright guys, sorry the, I don't have the best microphone in the world, I'm just using my uh, iPhone X here. But just wanted to give you guys a little uh, in-cabin sound clip of how it sounds with uh, the, the new muffler installed. So this is with the windows closed. Um, I'll let you guys see how fast I'm going. I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna mash it a little bit. and you want people to hear you from like a mile away this isn't the exhaust for you or this isn't the muffler uh, kit for you uh, however if you just want to get a little bit more uh, you know a little bit more of a throatier sound out of your uh, you know 5.7 Hemi um, and you, you still want it to be you know a little more you know controlled slash quiet I, I guess I, don't, I, I guess the word I'm looking for is tame um, then this is definitely the kit for you um, like I said, I, I didn't want any, I didn't want something crazy because this is the truck that I use when, you know, going out with the family. So just a little side note, um, with the new mufflers or exhaust kits, whenever you install them, you are gonna, they're gonna have a weird smell and that's just the, usually if they spray a chemical on the inside of them or anything like that, or it's, you know, just fresh welds, I uh, usually smell funky. So yeah, uh, that, that'll go away after like a couple hundred miles of driving. Uh, but yeah, if you have any questions or any remarks or uh, any pointers for maybe next time when I do this. Feel free to comment below. Uh, this is the second time I've done this on a truck like this. But uh, anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, appreciate the support. Um, uh, feel free to like, share, subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with the shenanigans here at Backyard Pit Stop. See you guys next time.